There's a lot of talk about plastics in Ireland at the moment. How much we use, what can be recycled, and how and where the recycling takes place. The fundamental truth of the modern economy is that millions of people are involved in the production and recycling of plastic. But how does that impact on residents of Ireland? Where do we fit into the global cycle of plastic production? Consider a single tub of yogurt eaten somewhere in Ireland. Let's ask who makes it and how. But let's go beyond that and ask who recycles that pot of delicious, gooey awesomeness and how. A yogurt tub is rigid plastic. Remember that, it'll be important in a minute. All plastics come from oil. Oil comes from all over the world. The oil gets processed into plastic pellets. Plastic is a huge, huge global business. The turnover of the European plastics industry is about 360 billion euros per year. For a sense of scale, that's about one and a half times the size of the entire Irish economy. The plastic pellets get melted. The molten plastic is injection molded into yogurt tub form. The form heads to a yogurt processor where it gets filled with delicious gooey awesomeness. Packages of yogurts are delivered to your local shop via a network of distributors. You buy it there to enjoy at your table. Think about the complexity of it all. It's an unbroken global chain. Also, you can enjoy that yogurt. So, what happens next? You wash the tub and leave it to dry out. The tub is rigid plastic, so you pop it into your recycling bin filled with clean, loose, dry material. If you're wrecked one evening and don't wash out the tub, you contaminate your entire bin or bag of recycling. Recycling gets collected from outside people's homes and taken to a facility, where it gets sorted by humans and machines and bundled like with like. We're in Dublin City Materials Recycling Facility. So basically all the recycling bins in Dublin and the Greater Leinster area get delivered in here and this is where it's processed into individual uh, products. On the whole island there are nine similar facilities that do the same work as this one. So at the facility here we separate the individual materials, we put them together and they are shipped out then for further recycling. There's a small amount processed in Ireland but most of it is exported to other countries and there it's recycled into new products. This is a very difficult job because we have a lot of contamination to deal with, but there's huge room for improvement on this. Burning it or putting it in the ground is not a solution anymore. Back to our yogurt tub. Once it's been sorted and shipped to China, it gets melted down and injection molded into something else. The plastic is recycled at a profit. This something else then gets shipped back to you to buy it. But the situation is constantly evolving. China has recently banned the import of plastic for recycling. Countries like Turkey, Taiwan, Vietnam and Malaysia are now getting the business. We then buy that plastic back as something else. Today's yogurt tub is tomorrow's plastic fork or fleece jumper or child's toy. You could end up wearing your yogurt tub. All plastics are recyclable in theory. In practice, currently it only pays to recycle some types of plastics, rigid plastics. The prices paid for rigid plastics are by weight. International reprocessors pay for a clean, uncontaminated product. We contaminate between 5 and 40% of our plastics in Ireland at the moment, and we can certainly do better. Soft plastics are treated differently to rigid plastics. Soft plastics, such as cling film, go into your general waste and not into your recycling stream. Without the global recycling industry, we would have to burn, bury or recycle everything ourselves here in Ireland. And with our small population, recycling plastic ourselves doesn't make economic sense, leaving the burner berry options, which don't make environmental sense. By recycling well and for a profit, these firms are helping to protect the environment. By helping them, we help ourselves. These interconnections define the shape of our economy. The best way to reduce the environmental impact of plastics is, of course, not to use them in the first place. When you do use plastic, you should try and reuse it and, where possible, avoid the use of single-use plastic items such as disposable forks and straws. Recycling plastics is the next option, followed by capturing the energy content from plastics through waste-to-energy processing. And finally, the least favoured option is disposal at landfill, the option that we all really want to avoid. Technology changes, markets change. In the future, soft plastics may get recycled the way we currently recycle rigid plastics, but for now, we must separate them. 
Today's circular products need production and reproduction across the global economy. This is a vast and complex recombination of miracles. The more we recycle rigid plastics and place them clean, dry and loosely in the bin, the better off we'll all be.